Tell me about Hannah. My fiance, my childhood sweetheart. We met at secondary school. She was head girl, I was the quiet one. She liked computer games, so I instantly fell for her. I proposed in Goldshire. She said she didn't date elves, so I leveled up to a human necromancer and asked again. Sorry, it's Warcraft? We spent a lot of time on there. I recognize Goldshire, but you can't be a human necromancer in Warcraft. <laughs> There's no necromancer class in Warcraft. Goldshire is a place, though. Or Gold something. I don't know, the first human town I've played a lot of World of Warcraft. Funny how that came up, huh? <laughs> I brought up World of Warcraft at the beginning of this playthrough, and, and it came back at me. Okay. Warcraft? We played World of Warcraft a lot together. I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. But we had a lot of memories there. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of life now. The same thing over and over again. Bring me X bunnies to make a stew, Y badger teeth, rinse, repeat. Maybe I'm just grinding life. Dude, you can't play a necromancer in war world of Warcraft, you noob. <laughs> No regrets. <laughs> it was worth trying. The lorry? Nope. Can't go back to the cla the crash. It identified that as being about the crash, though. It is decent at connecting what I'm talking about, oftentimes. Let's go back to tragic events. I've missed something here. I didn't see the driver. You feel like it's your fault? I was fine for quite a while after the accident. Well being treated for depression. I thought I was cured. It was only recently after meeting Dr. Decker that I had a strange deja vu. I'm exhausted. Doctor, is our time up? You feel deja vu. Ah. Oh, Monday 50 times, skip back up. You have been diagnosed with depression. I do suffer from depression, but it's not very really surprising, is it? I used to get fatigue too, just overwhelming tiredness. I don't really get that anymore. I've just learned to accept that this is my life now. Do you often get tired? I can't answer that. Were you distracted? I don't know anything about that. Do you miss Hannah? Okay, that's not working out. Let's try again. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day. To see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gone. Bill Murray quotes, No... No one will... Believe you. I don't have an answer to that question. As always. <laughs> Having a little fun with it. And I'm, I'm somehow getting... Maybe I need to slide some stuff around. I think I'm getting off-center for my typing, apparently, because I'm screwing up a lot. Stop doing that. How am, I, how am I missing a question about World of Warcraft? Uh, you pl Who goes to Goldshire? What a pleb. <laughs> we played World of Warcraft a lot together. I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. But we had a lot of memories there. To be honest, it reminds me a lot of life now. The same thing over and over again. Bring me X bunnies to make a stew. Y badger teeth. Rinse, repeat. Maybe I'm just grinding life. The same thing o over and over again. I don't know.
Would you like to share some of your memories? You asked me that yesterday. I did. <laughs> Maybe looping a bit. He might be done talking. I mean, his dot hasn't changed color, but he asked if we were done for the day or not. Do I have notes? We're still asking about Mariana. One of the clues they give me for playing this game is to do verbal mirroring, which is to say the same thing that they say back at them on some level. But I'm not sure what I'd want to say about them in some of these cases. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed. What's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? Nothing changes. Alright. What's the point? What? <laughs> Alright, I might get stuck again. Did Decker give you a prognosis? See, I'm getting trapped in the idea of following up on previous questions, but it might be that I just need to ask brand new questions together. Uh, where do you work? Sorry, I've got nothing. Really? Do you have family? I don't know anything about that. Tell me about the crash. Nope. That's not working out. I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day. What the hell do I do? You're looking for clues. I don't have an answer to that. I have no idea how to follow up on that one. Alright. Should we keep prodding? Bryce? Welcome back. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. How are you feeling? Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up, I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. How, lo how long have you suffered from depression? You'd think being a gravedigger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. What is the extra hour? At midnight each day. Time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. What do you do during your midnight hour? Slow down, Doctor. You don't have to ask me all the questions at once. Try one at a time. Midnight hour? It's a bizarre thing to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. Even at midnight. But apparently, it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? Maybe it is real. I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis, but it's good you're having a go anyway. <laughs> this game's being a smart ass with me. This is some, I'm having some fun with this, though, so, uh,. You work as a grave digger. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. Cremation? I'm pro-cremation. 
Not just because I don't have to dig a grave. They still need a hole for the interment of ashes. It's more dignified, like you're becoming one with the universe again. Rotting in a wooden box. Even if you turn completely into atoms, how would you escape? Even bits of the universe get lonely, I'd imagine. Will you be cremated? Burial? Century? Is that for asking a hundred different questions or something? <laughs> Alright, well we've got a decent chunk of progress here. So much so that he's, he's actually pretty verbose to the point where I've lost track of some of the threads, perhaps. This is interesting. At some point I might have to ask for hints. I've been preemptively warned that this game, because it is a type things to figure out how to continue game, it is possible to hit dead ends with no clue how to continue. And I've been just told that uh, that giving into the hint system from time to time is just flat out more enjoyable than trying to brute force when you get completely stuck. So we'll see if I find more threads to follow on or not, but eventually I might get truly stuck. We'll see. You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. How stressful? Uh... What stresses you? I guess I already know the answer. I don't have anything for you. Yep. Handle a shovel? He said people can't handle a shovel for some reason? Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. There are relics? I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaimed the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. What have the they found? Is that something I should know? The archaeologists? I'm probably spelling that wrong. <laughs> Allegedly. Henley Church is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey castle. I say allegedly because a relic was found and dated around that century, but the archaeologists haven't found any further proof as yet. Have you found proof? I can't help you there. Tell me about the Queen. Alright. They took the Queen? Nope. Henley Church? Tell me about Henley Church. Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists, but they handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Really? Scientologists? I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Too many religions? That doesn't mean anything to me. <laughs> it's funny when they act like that. Oh, you have a camera? I've taken a lot of pictures. I have great shots of all the tourist sites. It's amazing what exposure you can use when moving cars are literally frozen still. Must be the sharp focus. That's interesting, yeah. If everything's moving, if everything stops moving, he could take special photos at night. But only at night. That's interesting. His photos could be proof then if he actually does have a bunch of really good photos. Uh, can you show me? Your photos? Uh, maybe that's not a- maybe that's it? 
I think the camera wasn't there earlier, and now it's constantly there. Interesting. Let's see, Scientologists... Uh... I had an earlier question, I lost track of what it was gonna be, actually. Henry Ch I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I feel like, didn't I already do... I think I already did the too many religions thing, didn't I? Let's try again real quick. That's meaning- No. Used to bel believe in God? I'm not sure God would have given a man an extra hour a day. Not just a single man. My extra hour is a gift. But sometimes, it's a curse. A curse? I sound like I'm complaining, don't I? <laughs> I'll stop now. Please go on. I don't- Alright. Complaining? No, sorry. It's a... Uh, that's why we're here, right? Okay. Okay, tell me about the relic again. I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. Tell me about the ancient chess piece. I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. Who did you tell about the Queen? At the, no? Okay. You play chess? No. Universe? Particles? We're all alone to some extent, don't you think? I don't have any friends, so I, I suppose that makes me lonely. In the midnight hour, though, I have as many friends as I like. Do you have a favorite celebrity, Doctor? In the hour, I could take a picture of myself with them, like we're the best of friends. You follow celebrities? I have no knowledge of that. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Listen, you time-traveling, selfie-stick-using fuck. I <laughs> All right, do we have any new notes, perhaps? They're still on Mariana. No one new updates since way back then. That's interesting. We haven't gotten past that level. Go all the way back to the extra hour. At midnight each day, time as you know it freezes. In my world, it just slows down to almost a stop. But I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's my very own midnight hour. You do as you please. In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. You play chess against yourself. All right, never mind. What can I do with this then? Are you behind on work? Tell me about your co-workers. No. Nope. Okay. Just trying to come up with a new approach to this whole thing. How is there still something to do with Warcraft? We played World of Warcraft a lot together. 
I guess it's not the cool thing to do anymore. Oh, that was the previous dude. <laughs> Whoops. It is slightly weird that they're all in a category together. Like, even the top of the screen says Bryce up here. Oh. There we go. Oh, that's good. So this is show all. Which is kind of annoying because it actually takes up more space because it has to name everyone all the time. But you can click on the person's name and it shows you all the questions with no spacing because they're all for the, for the same person now with no extra stuff like that. That's smart. Okay. Uh, halfway worded complaint completely rescinded then. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I'm weirded by how that's cut, that's like bolded. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I don't have anything. Yeah, I was wondering why the entire sentence was blocked like that. Let's see. Was Decker religious? Nope. Asking about Decker doesn't seem to amount to much here. Interesting. We might be stuck a little bit here. Let's see, so he... I'm looking at what he's dressed in, basically. But I'm not getting much from that. It's mostly just him playing with his camera a lot, isn't it? Can I see your pictures? I don't... Yeah, the camera isn't even li labeled as something to follow up on, so maybe I shouldn't. Have you met... Decker's other patients? That's meaningless to me. Alright. Fine. <laughs> Would you like some more coffee? <laughs> that doesn't mean anything. <laughs> Um, have you done something bad? I have no knowledge. I'm trying to think of new questions for the midnight hour. When did you... the midnight hour start? When did your symptoms Begin. Is that something I should know about? <laughs> how long... Or how long had you been seeing Dr. Decker? I can't help you there. Okay, I might be stuck here too. I may have to poke around. I'm curious about the progress though on this thing. 41% progress through this individual act, apparently. Interesting. I've become an intern. Stay interested, doctor. Keep their attention. Ten responses. What do they mean? Ten responses. What do they mean? Interesting. Huh. Well, we've gotten pretty far with Bryce. Let's try our first ever hint. Do I tell him yes, there are too many religions? Or no to not enough religions. Oh. Right. That's an interesting concept then. Answering his... Right, I need to... I'm thinking of an, this in under investigation terms. But I need... Not everything else... Not everything's an investigation where you follow up on a search term, but also can answer their questions. So when something's bolded, it's a question that I should be trying to answer. Yes, perhaps there are too many re religions. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable, and the part about most religions stemming from the same basic facts. It's more likely they've all got it wrong, than one of them has got it right. Ah, uh, I watched the... Wow, years ago I watched the documentary on YouTube, Zeitgeist Moving Forward. I don't know if that's what he's talking... I don't remember religion being a topic as much in that. I don't really remember it very much in, gen in general, though. I'm curious to see if this gets a, f a result. 
Sorry, I don't know any. Zeitgeist. It's probably an, it's probably a fictional, a fictional documentary. Is that something I should? Okay, let's go back to there. Or maybe there's nowhere else to go with from that one. Interesting. Then we agree. Have you watched Zeitgeist, Doctor? Some of it is believable, and the part about most religions stemming... Religions... stem from the same basic facts? I can't help you... Th same basic facts? I have no knowledge. I mean, it is listed as... It is surprisingly listed as, like, a dead end, as opposed to something to continue on. Was there something else he said that ended with a question? Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up, I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Work? Work? has been piling up? I've already asked about depression. What else is there to follow up on there? Let's see. What, what was he just playing with? Was it his watch? How do you feel about time? No. Nope. What do you see in the painting? That's... I was curious because he kept looking at it. What was he... What's the... Something was in his hand earlier. Where does he keep putting that coffee, by the way? Because, like, there's no... Maybe he's putting it on the ground where I can't see it. Alright, well, the religion topic seemed to just dead end, actually. Curious. Curious. Maybe I should try Nathan again. At some point you asked me a question, didn't you? I watched that Bill Murray film, Groundhog Day. To see if there's any clues. <laughs> to see if there's any clues. That's how bad it's gotten. I'm looking for a cure in a Hollywood movie. Can you help me, Doctor? Yes, I can help you. I don't know how, but thank you, Doctor. This this is our first time around, and I trust you. You trust me? No. Sorry. That's an unfortunate, randomly generated uh, response. <laughs> it's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it. Shower, get dressed, what's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? No, you are not in purgatory. Alright. You have to move on. I don't know. Nope. Grinding real life? I'm not really fit for work anymore. I work in produce at the local supermarket. That mainly involves lifting heavy crates of fruit and veg into place for people to buy, and doing that over and over again. My muscles don't seem to have grown much. I think that maybe I'm not aging. When the day resets, I just reset with it. I used to be a builder. Did you stop building? I used to be a builder contractor. I had to quit. It's hard watching a house get built and to start all over again the next day. I needed something less obvious. So where do you work now? I don't have anything to say. Let's see. I guess the building stopped. Okay. Your muscles don't grow. I'm 57. Kidding. Just if you spent the whole day at the gym and then repeat that day and not go, you'd have achieved nothing. 
The M57 was a strange line, but okay. So the idea is that as he grows... So going, he doesn't, he, he can't bring himself to go to the gym because he'd have to go to the same gym every day over and over again on the off chance that that day happens to be the day that actually happens for real, as opposed to all the days that get skipped. I'm curious why the notes just stopped happening. It's like those montages you get in movies. Time passes, you wake up, shave, if you feel like it, shower, get dressed, what's the point? You get this day over and over, nothing changes. Am I in purgatory, Doctor? This is not purgatory. Your life is a montage. Most of my days are blur. I'm not sure if it's the sleeping tablets I'm on or just how I've learned to switch off. Okay. That at least went somewhere, even if it's kind of a dead end. So you switch off? You asked me that yesterday. I didn't have an answer. Okay, double check there. Most of my days are blur. I'm not sure if it's the sleeping tablets I'm on or just... Sleeping tablets. You're on medication. I... Sleeping tablets. I'm on Temazepam. Dr. Decker prescribed them for me. He thought I'd sleep through to a whole new day. I didn't. Temazepam. How do you spell that? <laughs> I don't have an answer to that. I'm on Temazepam. T Maze Pam. T Maze. Dr. Decker. Stop taking T Maze Pam. <laughs> Sorry. Nope. I was just curious to see if I could do anything there. He's actually running out of things to follow up on. I wonder if, if things have changed for him or not. We're down to just. This crash somehow is a, a missing thing, huh? I've been shrunk for that already. If I had that day again, I wouldn't make the same mistake. Hannah would still be alive. We'd probably have a family by now. I haven't had any relationships since then. What would you do differently? I don't know. You've been alone? No. <laughs> Technically, yes. Uh, let's see. I'll, I'll take a hint. Alright. I don't know any- Didn't spell hint correctly. <laughs> what is your name? I'm Nathan Peel. I'm a supermarket worker from, well, hell, really. Well, I feel silly. <laughs> Never asked what his name was. You work at the super market. Grinding real life, okay. Hell? I imagine what I'm experiencing now might be a type of hell. Not everyone burns in flames with the devil on their back. I'm hoping you can make sense of my problem. Okay. We've made progress at least. Still don't know how to follow up on the crash situation. Can I drag that up? Nope. They're not a follow-up on the crash situation, but we've definitely made more progress there. Cool. So Nathan has become the first character in the party that's willing to move forward. That's curious. Let's see. Now that I'm learning more about how to interact with this game, maybe I can figure out how to make progress with Mariana in particular. Let's start with the embarrassing one. No, that already happened. I'm Mariana. Are you feeling okay? Yes, I am fine. That doesn't really mean anything to you. Yes, I am feeling okay. That's what Dr. Decker would say. Huh. <laughs> Didn't make her yellow, but it did apparently have an impact on the whole... I mean, I got rid of the double asterisk thing I needed to follow up on. That's curious. 